Hey guys, Josh Hankin here, creator of the Ultimate Sandbag Core Training System and our DVRT program. One of the things that gets me really pumped is to work with innovative and creative coaches that are working in the trenches every day with their clients. And one such gentleman is Rob, Rob Pfeiffer of uh, Urban Warfit out here in Scottsdale, Arizona. And I've had the pleasure to meet Rob. Um, he's one of the most open-minded and creative coaches I've met recently. Uh, Rob, your background with your gym, is a, it's a CrossFit affiliate at its base? Yes, we are, absolutely. So, Rob Sport, now Rob, you're also an accomplished CrossFit athlete, right? Sure. So his sport actually demands him to work with a barbell. So we don't want to be alienating people that their sport demands them to use certain implements. What we want to show you is how the ultimate sandbag can be complementary to your barbell lifting. So Rob, you've started developing some systems. So we're going to show a couple lifts that people can do. So first off, one of the core lifts in, in CrossFit is the clean, right? Right. So you want to knock out a couple reps so people all have that point of reference. Absolutely. So the great thing about the clean is it's a great explosive full body lift. Rob's doing a great job. Now, of course, teaching the clean has to be a, a progressional uh, sort of series, right? Not, not necessarily everyone walks in your gym and can knock out cleans like that, huh? No way, especially <laughs> now with the barbell. And the nice thing in all athletics, we have periods where we specialize and we do more general base training. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna show you a couple exercises with the ultimate stand that you can do to enhance your clean. So Rob's gonna grab actually our strength bag here. And he's gonna do a couple of our rotational lunge cleans. So he steps back and comes, drives up, right into the clean. Nice, Rob. Now, how is this related to the clean? Number one, he's getting a single leg pull. So as he steps back, this becomes a pull exercise just like the clean is, but it's unilateral. So he's turning on all the small stabilizers of his body. Secondly, when he comes to the side and rotates with the bag, he's actually having the weight move in a different pattern direction than would typically just in the barbell. So again, he's building general qualities that are going to enhance him when he starts specializing in those barbell cleans. Nice job, Rob. Well done. Now another classic CrossFit exercise are box jumps, right? So Rob's going to show you a couple box jumps here. Now make sure that bar doesn't get behind you, sir. There you go. Nicely done, Rob. So now, how can we do that? Not everybody, again, walks in and is able to do plyometric type exercises. So a way you can either enhance it or build up to it is what we use in our bear hug squat. So I've grabbed a bigger bag for Rob here. Now you may say, well, why does a bear hug squat have anything to do with box jumps? If we do a pause at the bottom, go ahead and go pause, and then drive up, we're teaching the body a couple things. So Rob's gonna do two more of these. As he descends deeper in the squat, because in a bear hug squat, people can usually get deeper in a better technique, he's activating his hamstrings and glutes higher. So now if he drops down, when he goes back to those box jumps, he's gonna find that he's a little more explosive coming up off the ground. You can't quite hear him, but he's actually landing softer than he did just previously. The other thing is it gets a whole body active, so it's a nice way if you want to use it as a preparatory exercise or as a way to build up into doing box jumps on a more regular basis. The last exercise we're going to go over is the front squat. So again, another classic uh, CrossFit exercise. Now one of the hardest parts for people is this wrist position. <laughs> it happens to the best of us, right? I like taking athletes when they're not warmed up too. So the wrist position can be the trickiest for some people. The nice thing is he's going to do a couple more just to show you. He is, an, he is actually very good at these. There you go. It's all about positioning, and we really have to work that anti-flexion of the trunk. So for a lot of people, getting that position is really difficult. So we'll come down. Nice job, Rob. There's that magic. And drop it down, sir. Nice job. So if you want to progress working on that flexibility, but you want to build those qualities of range of motion in the hips and the anti-flexion strength of the trunk, we can do zercher squats. So let's grab one of the bags there, sir. Now it's a little bit different than a front squat because it's not resting on the shoulders. Rob's just gonna hold it in close to his body and he's gonna just go and drop in the squat. Now we have lots of options. We can go to a bigger bag so his trunk is a little more challenged. Gonna drive one up, nice. So a lot of similarities in this exercise. The nice thing is we have a little more flexibility. If we wanna build strength, we can go a little more single leg by going to our staggered stance. Nice. So now we can make the same weight feel much heavier and really challenge both his hip and trunk stability to a higher degree. So when he goes back to those front squats, he's gonna be a little more prepped both in the stabilizers and those weak links. Nice job, Rob. And throw that bad boy down. Well done. 
So you can see it doesn't have to be an either or situation. You can definitely make them complimentary. So make sure if you're in the Scottsdale area and you want to work out in a great program, check out Rob's Urban Warfit and check out more at ultimatesandbagtraining.com.